It's the end of the world as we know it. I feel fine. Good morning, slaves. From July 18th to the 21st, the Rust Belt city of Cleveland, Ohio played host to the hot fucking mess that was the 2016 RNC. While many commentators, including yours fucking truly, have predicted that the streets outside the convention will be the scenes of an epic showdown between Trump supporters and the motherfucking resistance, it turns out we were fucking wrong. <laughs> this is not to say that all of the pre-convention predictions were entirely unfounded. The RNC did feature a bizarre fucking showcase of deep-seated contradictions in American society. Neo-Nazi groups showed up to proudly swear allegiance to their Mussolini quoting would be Fuhrer, open carry activists brandishing AR-15s and members of heavily armed militias such as the West Ohio Minutemen, fraternized with pigs and patrol crowds looking for an excuse to enact vigilante justice, and Donald J. Trump formally announced his party's nomination with a terrifying acceptance speech. Disciples of the Watch I now, now command to seek out and destroy, destroy the Nazarene, Nazarene child. child. Slay the Nazarene, and I shall reign forever. However, one crucial puzzle piece was sorely lacking, namely, the motherfucking resistance. Now, this is in no way meant to detract from the bravery of those comrades who showed up and who took to the streets in the face of an overwhelming police presence. And under the steely gaze of assault rifle toting super patriots, given the shortage in numbers and sheer fucking disparity between anarchists and cops, there's really not much that peeps there could do. And as a silver lining, it's a huge fucking relief that there weren't any mass arrests, FBI entrapment operations, or serious injuries on the part of protesters. But I gotta say, what with all the hype, the high level of militancy seen at earlier Trump rallies, and given the serious fucking stakes of a Trump presidency, if I can be real with y'all, the pitiful display of resistance in Cleveland was fucking demoralizing. Aside from a hilarious scuffle between a coked out Alex Jones and members of the IWW. Yeah, a bunch of guys with red flags come up and sort of hit me and slapping me and saying, you know, I was a Nazi. The most high profile act of resistance was a surreal, heavily orchestrated flag burning in front of the convention arena by the RCP USA, an old timey Maoist party, a weird fucking cult of personality centered around the group's supreme leader for life, Chairman Bob Avakian. While resistance to the past Republican and Democratic conventions has always been largely symbolic given the intense fucking level of security that are the hallmark of these types of events, and thus the relative impossibility of actually shutting them down and acknowledging the vast strategic arguments in favor of replacing symbolic protests with sustained local organizing, the point remains that in past years resistance has at least been symbolic of a capacity and willingness to fight. Instead, this RNC featured a symbolic wall made of cloth intended to wall off racism and a symbolic dance party to quote end fascism and capitalism. Sadly, cloth walls and dance parties aren't going to protect us from what's coming down the pike. More than anything, the shit show at the RNC laid bare the advanced state of social decomposition in the United Snakes and the dire need for revolutionary militants to build our capacity for more than just symbolic resistance and to start preparing to actually defend ourselves and our communities. Because no matter who wins the fucking election in November, it's pretty clear that there are some dark fucking times ahead. 